بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اے نیو سیریز فار دا سافٹ ویئر کالڈ اورکا ایز یو کین سی آن دا اسکرین اورکا از بیسیکلی این الیکٹرانک اسٹرکچر پروگرام وچ کین رن دی کمپیوٹیشنل میتھڈس انکلوڈنگ دا ڈینسٹی فنکشنل تھیوری اینڈ اینڈ ویریس ادر میتھڈس Uh, to compute different properties of the molecules. So this uh, is a free software and uh, it's a very flexible and easy to use general purpose software. Uh, as you can see the introduction uh, here on its uh, original website where you can read about it, what is Orca and uh, how it can, it can be used. So uh, previously I made videos about Gaussian software which is a, so a paid software, which is a, a subscription software. You, you can buy it and use it. Uh, now, Orca is a similar tool, but this is a free one. And uh, it has uh, its own uh, setup and uh, it has many different methods enabled in it that you can use for your research and uh, for your general purpose. So in this video, I'm going to uh, describe what is Orca, how to get it, how to install it, and uh, then uh, we'll move on to uh, making calculations and running the program as well. So this is the website for Orca. You can see the web address over here. And if you go down, uh, you can see different links here. So we'll go to Orca Forum. Orca Forum is uh, the place where you can actually Uh, get orca so for getting orca you will need to register and make an account here uh, i already have an account so i just logged in now you can see different discussions different errors and their uh, solutions and uh, many other things over here so here is the downloads button you can just go over here and uh, you can see different versions of orca Uh, starting from the older variants and then uh, moving to the newer ones. So uh, here is Oka 5.0.4, which is the latest one. And if you click on it, you can see different variants. Uh, this one is for Linux. So part one of three, two of three, three of three. So if you download all these three files, you will then extract them together and you will get the Linux version. Uh, for Windows, you need to go down and then here you can see that uh, for Windows part 1, 2, 3, there are three parts. There is another uh, smaller file over here, uh, which is uh, this one, Orca 5.0.4 Linux, a shared version, uh, which is, uh, actually runs through OpenMPI and uh, it is a fully functional version, which is uh, quite compressed. So uh, for Linux, you can download this one. And for Windows, you can download these uh, different three, three files and then combine them together. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the Linux way and how to install it. You can install it on Windows subsystem for Linux uh, because uh, at the moment, I don't have the downloaded files for Windows. So it will take quite a lot of time to download these, uh, these large files. So I have downloaded this uh, A Linux file which is 334.26 MB and after downloading it uh, you can see that I have it here this is the file uh, you can see 334 MB uh, running it on Linux is very simple uh, as you know that uh, this is the Windows subsystem for Linux you can install it through the WSL page of Microsoft and uh, it is a fully functional uh, version of Ubuntu where you can uh, use it like a complete Linux. So what I did is I, I have already copied the file over here. So this file is uh, located at this uh, D drive. There is a folder called bash and then Oka 5 in which all of these files are sitting here. So I can uh, simply use the command uh, SCP for copying uh, the Orca file here. And then I can call it slash mount slash D 
uh, as all the windows drives are mounted in slash mount slash mnt and then i can give it the path and you can see that uh, i can tell it that i want to copy this uh, whole uh, dot tar this whole uh, archive uh, in current directory like i can say dot or i can say there is a folder named software in my home directory i i, I want to copy it over there and uh, I have actually already done that. If uh, I press enter and you can see see the software. And if I ls, you can see that I have that uh, archive over here. And I actually un unzipped it as well. So you just need to unzip it and then go inside the folder. You can see all those files are here. Now, we need to get the present working directory address. Here is the address slash home slash Hashmi slash software and then this this is the Orca. Uh, I'll just copy the, that uh, address. I have actually copied. If, if, if you right click it, you can copy. Now I need to go to my, uh, my home directory by pressing CD and I'll add some environmental variables to the, uh, to the bash RC file. Uh, through nano.bash.rc so that uh, we can use orca simply by typing orca uh, later on so if i press enter you can see the bash rc file if you just move to the bottom i have added these three lines export path you need to give the path of the orca and then ld library path there are libraries located in your user local lib folder and then uh, there are some libraries which are present in the orca folder so we also export the ld library path as uh, uh, slash home hashmi software orca in this folder which we just created so if you just add these three lines and save the uh, the bash rc file and then exit it and then you can simply source the updated dot bash rc file uh, after you source it now the orca is ready to use uh, it, it's that simple installing orca on linux is that simple you can just call it orca now and you can see that uh, it is telling you that this program requires the name of a parameter file as argument for example orca test dot input file so you need to give it an input file it, it is telling you that you cannot just call it by uh, saying orca you you also need to specify the name of an input file so that orca can run it so it means that orca is now installed and working perfectly so the same way you can uh, download orca on uh, windows and install it and then uh, you can start using it so uh, this windows uh, this video uh, is just about how to get Orca, how to install Orca. And also, I'm telling you another thing, in downloads, you can find this Orca manual. And Orca manual is actually a great place for you. It, it is a booklet. You can see it, it has 13, 30 pages, and uh, it contains all the information uh, about Orca. So you can see uh, how the input of Orca looks like, uh, how can you run typical calculations and you can run the calculation of properties and all the things are explained very well in this manual so you will need this manual just get it download it and uh, for all the guidelines we will use this manual and uh, see the keywords and everything in it and then make calculations to run and in the next video i'll explain how to uh, download avogadro and install it and uh, use it for the uh, for making input files for orca and running there is another software as well uh, which we'll explain in the next video um, i hope you got the point how to install orca on uh, linux or windows subsystem for linux uh, and uh, we'll see uh, you in the next video with more updates about orca thank you for watching uh, bye bye